We're going to watch a story now, right? Yeah. So Beatrice is here with us. She is a part of the CDC's tips from former smokers campaign. She says that a letter from her son <laughs> actually motivated her to quit smoking. Let's take a look. Dear Mom, smoking. Thank you, Mom, for quitting smoking. I know you can do it. It is a hard thing to do, but smoking kills you, so you are saving your life. I'm lucky to have parents like you and Daddy, because maybe other parents would probably say, oh, he's just a kid, but you are the best mom in the world. Don't smoke. And then he drew a little something, which is cute. It's me smoking, and then that's like before and after, and that's a dead me. <laughs> That's him crying because he was afraid that I was going to die. And I uh, made copies of it, and I keep it everywhere I have. I, obviously, I keep this one in my wallet, and I keep some at my desk, and I have them at home on my refrigerator, so it's like everywhere. My son is really proud that I quit smoking. He um, actually he thinks it's the best thing I've ever done, and he thanked me for it. I think I'm being a good role model now. Wow. You got me all teared me up, too, but in too. a good way. In a good still way. still get emotional is that watching. The, is that the it letter is. You this is the letter. I bought it with me. You. Yeah. That's so, so it's just, bitch. I'm still emotional from watching. Well, I want to say to you, this is amazing, right? My mother was a smoker for a very long time. Yeah. My twin brother and I, the one thing we despised was the smoke in the car. Yeah. And one day she came home from work and she quit smoking. That's amazing. And we said to her, why did you stop smoking? She was at work and they showed a video of these two boys whose mother had died. Oh. And she saw us in those two boys, mm -hmm. and my mother And quit. that was it, like that a light it. switch. Unbelievable. So this story and is just. that's what did it for you, that right? That's my that... motivation. I have two sons, and they both wanted me to quit smoking. But they're so proud of you now. They and are. And how I, do you I, feel? I feel like a positive role model for them. Um, yeah. yeah, it took a few months for me to try and quit. And um, you know, every time I feel like I have a craving, I pull out the letter, I read it. It's been seven years now. I still carry seven it. Years. Lucky seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. At every anniversary, I buy myself a little something special just Good to celebrate. Good for you. It's, it's such a great quit. story. I want to encourage everyone who's watching, if you know someone who smokes, and we all know someone who smokes, help them. Don't demean them. It's tough. Help them quit smoking. It could change their life and everyone else's life for a long time. And if you want to help someone, the CDC has so much information, by the way, tons of information. Go to their website. It's cdc.gov forward slash tips and learn how to engage in the conversation in an appropriate manner. Knowledge is power. That's right, where people Knowledge will talk to you and power. listen to you and Absolutely. save and save someone's life. It's a big deal. Thank you so much to Beatrice for being here. You look so beautiful. Thank you to our dear friend, Dr. Ian, and thank you to our friends. Uh, everybody in this room, everybody in this country owes them, our friends at the CDC. That's right.